this actually, even as a practitioner, this really surprised me. When I dug into the literature, when we look at the higher end, um, we've got 68% of Australians and 65% of New Zealanders experience pain. And this is actually weekly. So that question was monthly. This is actually um, weekly. And if you do the math roughly, and it's about 17 million Australians, 2.6 million New Zealanders. That's when we get rid of the children and you know, just look at the adults. And, and basically 60% of this huge population that's dealing with aches, pains, and tension are ignoring it. We're doing nothing about it. And I think we can sort of understand that we would have all been guilty. You know, I'm sore, but it's not that bad. Can I get, you know, do I really want the appointment? Maybe it'll go away on its own. And while we're umming and ahhing and wondering if we should go get some help, the cost to employees in just lost productivity is astronomical. Uh, and, and down the bottom there, I actually had to do a little bit of digging here. But when you work it out, in terms of lost productivity, so not absenteeism where we're actually off work, but just lost productivity, uh, we can say that for every single employee, not just the sore ones, um, so every employee in the organization, we're losing 9.6 hours per employee per month, which while it might sound high, it's really like one morning a week when we go to an appointment, we take it off, uh, you know, or, you know, a couple of afternoons where we're a bit snappy and we can't concentrate much, so we clock off early or we're kind of phoning it in. So even the sort of just the productivity level is really significantly impacted. Now, if we jump over to the more serious and the claim end, it, it kind of depends on which safe work research you look at from which year, but we can roughly say a claim costs about 10K um, and then the indirect costs go up significantly from there. So six to 10 times the cost. And while we're having some luck in some corners and some jurisdictions, we actually do expect this load to increase over the next couple of decades quite significantly. And MSD claims, which is musculoskeletal disorder, which we're probably across, but it's a bit of a mouthful, uh, are still the leading cause of serious off work claims. Now, as you would imagine, because it's the topic of today's session, we are talking about a lot more than sore muscles. Um, we have these comorbidities with these really serious mental health issues. Um, people with recurring pain three times more likely to experience anxiety and depression. And a huge proportion of opioid use uh, is associated with general pain relief. So not uh, surgery, not cancer, just I'm sore and I'm really not sure what to do about it. And with all of that in mind, the 88%, I think it was earlier that had been sore this month, and the 92% who have loved ones who are impacted, it's kind of crazy that we're not talking about it. <laughs>